was having a conversation with my husband last night and we got to where um, in the Quran it says that a thief's hand must be cut off and so we were having a conversation about that when my husband said I don't believe in that and I don't agree with that and to make the story short the conversation got very heated and we were just going back and forth and at some point my husband was like well I don't care if it says in the Quran I don't agree with it I think the Quran came down 1400 years ago for that time it doesn't apply to this time so Sheikh my question to you is am I going to be hold accountable with Allah about what my husband says should I continue living with him I Elham, I would like to ask you a few questions the first question does your husband normally pray he prays yes on regular basis uh, yes yes you sure so he prays Juma and he well, prays the five daily well, prayers. The thing is that I I have to force him. I'm sorry, but I just push him to pray as look, much look, as I Look, Sister can. Ilham, with, with, with my due respect, even if you said, yes, he prays on regular basis and he prays the Nawafin and he's regular on Juma, I wouldn't believe it. To be honest with you, a person who risks his prayers and he says, I don't believe in what Allah said and it is not correct and it doesn't work nowadays, his prayer is invalid. It's as simple as that. The second question I, I want to ask you, is he born Muslim? Does he belong to an Arabic background, indo background or is he a revert? Okay, so he is originally from Iran and uh, uh, he was born a Muslim, but um, I, I'm sorry to say that I used to be a Shia and I have, uh, I have become a Sunni and I follow the Hanbali Mashab, but mm -hmm. and my husband is the same. He was a Shia, but I forced him to become a Sunni. I'm sorry. And... Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like if I leave him, he would leave Islam altogether. Like, I am on a on a in a very bad situation. On one hand, I don't want to leave him because I'm afraid that he would leave his prayers and everything that Ilham. I have worked. Ilham. So Ilham, do you have kids with him? I'm sorry, what did you say? Do you guys have kids together? No, no, no kids. Okay. Okay, now we can listen to the answer. And um, this is all what I needed to hear from you. Uh, basically, due to our experience in this field, the questions answers are kind of expected to me. So a person who is not actually practicing Islam, who prays because he is forced to pray under physical or moral obligation. Like a wife says that you have to pray, so okay, I'll have to pray. I'll just pray whenever she sees me. Is this Islam? No, this is not Islam. Islam is when a person testifies to the oneness of Allah and that Muhammad is a messenger. So when Allah says in the Quran, whatever he says, Ameen. And when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, conveys any message from Allah, then we also say, A person who takes Islam as a superficial and apparent title in order to keep in the marriage is not actually Muslim. I do not accuse a particular person of not being Muslim. I'm speaking in general, though. So a person who says to any hukm in the Quran, 
I don't believe in that. I disagree with Allah is definitely non-Muslim. Keep in a Shia background or a secular background and, you know, I'm just keeping the title Muslim to please my wife. That doesn't call, is not called Islam. Such person is not perceived as a Muslim. Al-Islam is to believe in the oneness of Allah sincerely from your heart. To believe that he has revealed the Quran, the everlasting miracle, to his last messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the bottom of your heart. Not for a dunya or a wife or for whatever purpose. Having uh, both of you living in the USA, if I may ask, uh, if you're living in Texas, for instance, the law of the capital punishment is very strict and applied. Correct. Can you dare to say, I don't believe in this law and I'm against it? Who cares about your opinion? There is a law and order. And whether you like it or not, a murderer who has been convicted will be executed. Right? So your opinion is worthless. You can be even held accountable for that. Because you're an American citizen. You have to live according to the law and order of that country, of this constitution, correct? Can you dare to oppose LGBT nowadays? You can. But you can dare to say to Allah, I don't believe in you. I don't believe in your statement. And Allah is not interested in your Islam. And Allah is not interested in you altogether. So may Allah guide us to what is best. And I also asked about the children because it would have become much more problematic in case that we have children. Right? But since we don't have a children, you got to make up your mind, sister. And ask this guy whether he wants to be true Muslim or not. So giving him the ultimatum will give him comfort and will give you as well comfort. May Allah bless you, sister Ilham, and keep you steadfast and guide us, you and your husband.